Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday. Can you believe it's Friday again already? Oh my gosh, where do like the days and the weeks go? And it's December, right? Who is ready for Christmas? Um, I'm not really ready yet. Although, you guys, I actually have gotten um, at this point more Christmas shopping done than I think I ever have before. So I'm feeling pretty good about things. Um, my kids are pretty set, I would say. So um, yeah, now I get the fun of like wrapping, which normally that's like a total last minute thing. So I'm kind of excited about that to have like some more time to actually get presents wrapped and kind of enjoy it. Cause I do love, right? Like we're like huge paper crafting fans. So I love like gift wrapping and like bows and, and tags and all of that stuff. So I'm looking forward to, um, yeah, having some fun. Um, decorating kind of my presence too, if you will. So hello, Miss Teresa, glad you can join us today. So yeah, hopefully you guys, um, like I said, December is going well. You guys are getting in the holiday spirit. I know it's a little weird not being able, at least here in Michigan, we just can't get out very much. So hello, Susan. Um, so that's been a little bit of a like, okay, just trying to find other ways to um, stay positive and festive through all of this, right? So hopefully you guys are doing that too. Um, so yeah, let's see. This week we have this super cute, I love this stamp set. This is another one of those. Oh, you're welcome for the birthday card, Teresa. I hope you have a fabulous birthday I know December birthdays right are always kind of fun right but mixed with holidays too so it's great to actually really recognize the birthday as well um, so yeah this stamp set the tree angle stamp set such a cute stamp set and I think I didn't even realize how great it was until I started playing with it hello Debbie glad you can be here um, I, it's one that has kind of caught my eye in the catalog and I thought oh yeah if I get time I want to get that and play with it and so I did I got time to play with it and it is so cute so let me just show you because you've got Actually, you've got like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different images in terms of, um, you know, Christmas tree imagery with some really fun kind of detail to them also. And then I love the little hanging ornaments, right? We've got um, greetings. That's a fun, bold one. And then the other one that's fun, bold, the joy and cheer. And then we've got, this is says Christmas is best when we're together, which is a very sweet sentiment, right? And then there's a Mary. And then how about this one? Happy wishes to you and yours is that long one right there. And then from all of us is the other one. So great sentiments. Debbie, thank you for sharing. Hello in Southwest Michigan. Hopefully, I don't know, is the sun shining for you guys? It's awfully overcast, not super sunny here today. It's like peeking out a little bit every once in a while and I like get super excited when I see it. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is the stamp set that we're gonna be featuring, the projects that I'm gonna make. And I cannot wait to show you guys because I used some really like non-traditional Christmas colors on these projects today and I am super, super excited to share them with you. I, I think they turned out great. Um, I'm like, I can't even like, yeah, I can't even like contain like how excited I am to show you these projects. So we are going to be jumping right in. Um, good, sun is shining for you. All right, send it up north a little bit, would you? We could use it up here too. So um, yeah, so super cute stamp set. We're going to have some fun playing with this stamp set. So in the meantime, it's funny, actually, as you said that, Debbie, <clears throat> the sun is like kind of almost peeking out. It's going to be weird glare today if it does come. So anyway, but that's all right. So yeah, let's see. I think, let's jump in. We're gonna do our first drawing. I've got, I just wanna show you these cards. I'm just, I can't even tell you how excited I am to show you them today. So we are gonna do our first drawing. So thank you guys for sharing if you've done that already. If not, share this video anytime between now and next Thursday. That's when I put your names in the drawing is Thursday night as I'm prepping for my Facebook Live on Friday, okay? So you get your name in the drawing if you share the video. So last Friday's video, if you shared the video, or if you're new to me and sign up to my email list, that's another great way to get your name in the drawing, right? So this is what we are giving away this week. These are the beautiful blue gems, my absolute favorite embellishment out of the holiday catalog. They're so beautiful and sparkly. I just love them. Okay, so names are in here and we will do our drawing here. So let's see who is the lucky winner of the beautiful blue adhesive back to gems. All right, and I always have to like, when I feel a bunch of them kind of all stuck together, I have to separate them. Make sure everybody gets a fair chance. And okay, we have one. Yes, I'm down to one right here, which reminds me of my favorite song by Luke Cohen, or uh, 
Luke Bryan right now. <laughs> anyway, down to one, I think it's called. Anyway, it's a fun song. So, okay, Miss Vina, sorry, I get like super excited. Miss um, Vina is the winner of the blue adhesive back gem. So congratulations, Vina Gomez. I will get these gems sent out to you. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let me scoot these out of the way, right? So on our next Facebook Live, this is what we're going to be giving away just in time for holiday, right? Thank you for sharing, Miss Susan. And yes, congratulations to Vina. So just in time for holidays, right? We are going to be giving away some of our beautiful rhinestones on our next Facebook Live. Who doesn't love some bling, especially at holiday time, right? So this is what we'll be giving away. Make sure you share this video and sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. Up at the top above this video, after I get done um, uploading it today, um, I will include a link to my um, email list so you can sign up right there, super quick and easy. Um, it's also always on my blog too at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. So I feel like at my angle kind of funny, like I'm kind of cut off and I'm not really very tall either. So <laughs> I should have tilted my um, camera up just a teeny bit more maybe, but that's right. We're not going to worry about it now. So hello, Cheryl. So glad you can be here with us today. Happy Friday to you. So, okay, let's see. Um, <clears throat> normally this is when I would do my next drawing for that gnome for the holiday stamp set but I actually didn't have any online orders last week. So that's kind of a bummer, right? Because I can't give that super cute gnome for the holiday stamp set away. So um, hopefully you guys are um, you know, able to put orders in. Make sure you use the host code. I have a new host code for December. I'm gonna share that with you in just a couple minutes. Um, it's also on my blog, again, at gatheringinspiration.com. Um, but if you put an online order in, you are gonna get your name in the drawing. This is what we're gonna be giving away on the next Facebook Live. It is the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. We love this paper, right? And it's great even, so we've got holiday, we've got fall, I, I think it's great for masculine cards, Halloween, and even on um, Valentine's Day, it's kind of represented in here as well. So we've got a great, um, pack of designer series paper that we'll be giving away on our next Facebook Live if you put your online order in just of at least $30. You're also going to get the super cute projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a couple minutes with your online order. And then don't forget, we actually have a new PDF tutorial for December. So if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. Either one of those you can pick from. So I have to show you guys the PDF tutorial for this month. This is the project that I created. Um, it's kind of a fun, bright birthday card because I, I don't know about you guys, but at some point I get um, kind of tired of making Christmas cards because we focused on it basically since like August, September. So I was super excited to make a beautiful, bright birthday card. So this is the project that is featured, um, my project in the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial which is a compilation of 16 different projects from 16 different demonstrators. We all put a project together. We write up exactly step-by-step step how to, for example, put this card together. I tell you all of the um, dimensions, the colors, the item codes, step-by-step, step, exactly how as if I were putting this card together, um, that's what's in the tutorial. So you know exactly how to put it together yourself as well, right? And that's what everybody does in our Dumb Room Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So and it's in color too, which is fun, right? So I'm gonna kind of do a quick flip. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see very much, but can you see kind of, um, gosh, are you seeing much of any of it? A little bit, right? I don't, maybe I don't have the right angle. <laughs> Sorry, it's like backwards and funny. Thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed that card, Susan. So anyway, but it, um, you know, basically, it's got lots of good information in here. You guys are, I think maybe I should have flipped it the other way so you could see the pictures a little bit, right? Trying to give you a little sneak peek. I can't show you everything, right? Because you got to put your order in to get it for free. Or, hello, Miss Lori, if you're in my downline, one of my Inkspired Stampers, you actually get this PDF tutorial for free every single month for me as a um, perk for being in my team, for being an Inkspired Stamper. So if you are considering getting the starter kit and getting that awesome discount, 20% discount. <laughs> Lori, that's cute. Good morning, card warriors. Yes, that's what we are, aren't we? Especially in these times, right? When we all are like at home with nothing else to do, we might as well be making cards, right? So um, 
Yeah, what was my, what was I saying? Oh, starter kit, right? Yeah. So if you have not gotten the starter kit yet and you're thinking about it, now is, it's always a great time, right? Because um, right now there's a regular starter kit deal and actually during celebration, which will start, I believe it's, don't quote me, it's January 4th or 5th. I have to look at my notes for sure. Um, I wonder if I can tell based on when the, um, the other mini catalog ends. This one ends on January 4th. So it's probably January 5th that the that celebration starts. But anyway, um, they'll have another great starter kit deal. Um, I actually can't remember all the details of the next deal, so I'm not even gonna tell you about it. But right now, you might not you might not even wanna wait, right? Get your 20% discount right now. You pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. That 10% shipping fee is waived. So it's always a great deal. Then you get these PDF tutorials for free each month from me. You get your 20% discount, and I offer lots of other great perks for being a part of my team as well. So something to think about, right? Okay, <clears throat> so you guys, I think, it's funny because I, I was like going through the Stampin' Up! website and there's not a lot to really tell you guys about. Um, as demonstrators, we can pre-order the new mini cut and emboss machine. Um, and then I think um, beginning of January, customers will be able to order that. So that's one thing I wanted to mention too. If you want the little mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine that's been in the annual catalog, it's been featured in there and we just haven't been able to order it. So demonstrators can order it during December. And then if you haven't bought the starter kit yet, that's another great reason to get the starter kit. Though, well, ladies, you could get the new mini cut and emboss machine in your starter kit because um, that's always a perk too when you first buy the starter kit you basically can get anything that demonstrators can order because we can always pre-order things early too so that's a fun thing right another thing to think about is if you don't have the new like the mac daddy stamp and cut and emboss machine maybe you want it for christmas right tell your friends family whoever might be like mom grandma i want to get you a present what should i get you <gasps> They should get you the stamp and cut and emboss machine, right? Give them the host code so then you get the benefits too. And tell, tell them to let me know. Like if it's going to be a surprise, I can kind of secretly get your name in the drawing too if they use that host code and we can figure something out, um, you know, so that you, like the, the surprise isn't spoiled um, if they use the host code and order something for you, right? And they want to give it to you for Christmas. Um, so yeah, we can work something out like that. We'll just give them a fake name, right? So that then um, I can put the name in the drawing and then if the fake name wins, they can give you that prize too. So that would be kind of fun, huh? So yeah, something to think about. Or if you need anything, any supplies, anything that you want, if your family is like, you know, like I said, what should we get you for Christmas? Get Stampin' Up! for me for Christmas, right? Um, just tell them to get in touch with me. I'm happy to help them get an order placed um, so that you can um, get some more fun Stampin' goodies, right? So yeah, okay, let me know if you have any questions, if I can help with anything. Um, people can always email me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com and that link is always um, in the details to this YouTube video. Also, you can call or text me to my number 989-330-0259. I'm happy to help with holiday shopping. I know it can be stressful, especially, um, you know, sometimes even navigating the Stampin' Up! website if they're not used to that. So happy to help in any way I can. All right. So, okay, I think we are ready because I just cannot, I'm like so darn excited to show you guys these projects. Although it's funny because we're actually going to do some heat embossing and I brought my heat tool over and I think I need an extension cord. So I'm going to go get that real quick before we flip the camera down. Um, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to flip the camera down so you guys can see the host code and then I'm going to run and get my um, extension cord because I know it's not going to be able to reach all the way over here where I'm trying to do the stamping, right? So, okay, <clears throat> here we go. Turn your heads away for a moment, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like getting closer and I'm seeing. So I went to the dermatologist. I wasn't even going to say anything, but like they're, it's kind of showing. <laughs> I have like these three spots. There's one here, one on my nose, and this is the one that I feel like is popping out. So this is good. I'm glad I'm turning the camera away. So yeah, they use that. It almost looks like a little mini blowtorch. <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely, right? So they burned some stuff off, so that's good. It was like, you know, not cancerous, but precancerous kind of stuff. So they're getting rid of it, but now I'm like super like conscientious. So turn your heads away, because I don't want you guys to see like all of the ick, ick, ick on my face right now. So it'll get better, it's healing, it'll go away. So, okay, here we go. I'm gonna flip the camera down. 
There we go. We'll get the host code. So here's the new host code for this month, the AYT2PZ29. So I'll be right back. I got to grab that extension cord. Now I got to get it plugged in though. Okay, hold on one more sec, one more sec. Hopefully this one is long enough. All right, I think that should be good. Okay, so, ooh, fall off. So again, we are featuring the tree angle stamp set. You can see it, so now it's not gonna be backwards either. Right, so we've got the Christmas is the best when we are together. Greetings, happy wishes to you and yours. Merry, joy, and cheer, and from all of us. Love all of the imagery. And I think it's funny because that doesn't even look like a tree, but when you stamp it and cut it, then it does. So really fun. Okay, so let me grab my grid paper. Here too, we'll scoot this kind of up out of the way for now. Um... Okay, I'm trying to get centered so I know you guys can see everything when I'm actually working on it. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, so, okay, this is what I was talking about with the kind of non-traditional, but I think super fun, bright colors. So we are using, this is Magenta Madness and Bermuda Bay, and then with some silver accents. I just loved this color combination. You're going to see I followed it through on the next card as well. So we are going to do our stamping and our die cutting and our embossing and our heat embossing. So we've got lots of fun to be had on this project. Okay, <clears throat> so let me see. And I think I did some of it ahead of time. I'm trying to remember, because I did this a couple days ago. I actually was like really on top of things, ladies. It doesn't always happen like that, but, so I can't remember which one I prepped more of. <laughs> this one or the next card, but we will figure it out momentarily. So let me give you dimensions, first of all, okay? So our Magenta Madness card base is what we're gonna start with, all right? So along the, let's see, the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inside, we scored it at four and a quarter. Very traditional fold for our card, right? We have a piece of Whisper White cardstock on the inside that measures four by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then we have our silver foil paper. Hello, Miss Anna. I'm glad you can catch us today. That's all right. You're running late. I know it's kind of like the story of my life too. So silver foil, four inches by five and a quarter. That's gonna go there, and then we have a piece of Whisper White. We're going to layer on top of that that is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths, and we're gonna layer that right on there after we emboss it with our tree, um, what is it called? <laughs> the Evergreen, the Evergreen Forest Embossing Folder. And then I just have some scrap pieces, I have a bunch of scrap pieces of Whisper White and Magenta Madness so we can do our stamping and die cutting. So this is not the one that I did the pre-stamping and die cutting on, so I will show you. It's very, very simple though um, with these little tree angles, right? Okay, so let's see. Actually, did I mean for this piece? Nope, I must have meant for this piece. For my joy and cheer, we'll do that. And, hmm, maybe not, actually. I feel like it's gotta be that one. <laughs> Cause I need this one for that big tree there. Okay, we will figure this out. Okay, so here we go. Get my hands on things. So we're gonna stamp our magenta madness. We're gonna do our little mini tree, which is this guy right here. We're gonna stamp him on this one, okay? So always nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I see people at class squishing and getting ink all over the place, and we just don't need to do that. But we, what we might want to do is grab my little mat here, <clears throat> my stamp and pierce mat, so that I get a good, solid image. Cute, huh? Okay, so there's that one. And then on this piece, we're going to grab our Bermuda Bay ink. I think I'm done with, no, I got to stamp on the inside, don't I? Okay, so now we're going to do our joy and cheer on this piece right there. I love that, the font. Oh my gosh, I'm a, like a fool for 
beautiful fonts. Okay, um, what else are we gonna do? Let's do this one with our Bermuda Bay. So our big tree in Bermuda Bay ink. We're gonna do this one. I gotta get a little bit more on the corner there, I feel like. So put that one right there. Isn't that so pretty? It's like um, kind of a fun plaid almost. Super cute. Okay, let's stamp on the inside now of this piece. We have our, mm, here's our magenta ink again. You guys can see what I'm doing, right? So we've got Christmas is best when we're together. Oh, what a sweet sentiment, right? We've got that one right there. And then the little stars. I used almost all of the stamps in this stamp set. I'll show you what I have left that we didn't use. It's only a couple of sentiments. I didn't use the Mary and from all of us, if you guys can see those, right? But every, oh, and then this guy right here too, that tree, which is <clears throat> that one right there. So I didn't use that one, but so all but three. So I used 12 out of 15 stamps on these two cards. So I thought that was actually really cool too. So you could really kind of see all of the stamps um, in action also. Okay, so we are gonna do our die cutting on those pieces. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp with my Versamark ink and my silver embossing powder on that piece right there. Okay, so let's see, we are all done, right? Because we have that one and that one and then Joy and Cheer on the inside. Okay, so we are good with our ink pads. We're gonna scoot these out of the way. I'm gonna grab my Versamark ink I need to grab, so have you guys done much um, heat embossing lately? I kind of save it for Christmas projects. I don't know, you know, it's not just for Christmas time, right? But I tend to do it more at Christmas. So I have these, just these little like Ziploc um, plastic containers and I just write right on there. So this one is, says silver embossing powder and I've got my embossing powder in here and then when I tap it off, it can just kind of fall right into this container. And then when I get, really low, I can take this and dump it all back in. But I usually do that over a trash can or something. So I'll do that later. Um, okay, so we have our Hello Pam. <laughs> yes, happy weekend. No kidding, huh? Doesn't everybody love the weekend, right? Okay, so I have my little um, embossing buddy and I'm just gonna kind of rub that. Sorry if that's like wiggling the camera a little bit. We're gonna just rub that on there. That just kind of helps to take the static off of the paper so that when we go to do our stamping, um, well, actually, when we go to put our powder onto our stamped image, it only sticks to where we've stamped it and not to other random places too. Thank you for sharing, Miss Pam. I always appreciate those shares. I know I say it but a lot, right? But it's the best way for me to reach new friends and kind of keep my small stampin' business going. So thank you so much. So you see how I did that, right? And I love this big thing because then it provides lots of room to get any of that excess powder off of there too. So I like to just kind of close that back up, do that, get that out of the way so that when I bring my heat tool over, I'm not blowing my powder all over the place. Okay, so let's see. We'll see if you guys are gonna be able to see this on camera or not. So I haven't used this heat tool in a couple of days. It's funny how once you use it and it's heated up a little bit, how fast this works. So this first one might take a second or two, but it's amazing how all of a sudden it just kind of whoop, like just, kind of um, happens. Okay. I'm trying to see it happening. <laughs> there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Because I kept thinking, I, it's almost like you kind of see it like, ooh, like across the, the cardstock. And I think I didn't have a very good angle because I kept looking like, is it happening? But it does look like it's all embossed. I tend to kind of go over it another time or two just to make sure, because actually on the project that's on the card, there was a little spot like right down here that wasn't done, and so when I went to touch it, all the powder came off on my finger. But I think that looks good. Okay, 
So you can see how simple that heat embossing is, right? Now, the other thing though is I realized this super cute tree angle stamp set coordinates with the um, triangle dies. I thought I had ordered those. They're in the um, annual catalog and I really thought I had them. And I went to pull them out and I'm like, oh my gosh, I guess I never ordered those things. So I'm gonna show you how quick and simple and easy it is to just cut these with your paper snips too. So good morning, Miss Diana, thank you for sharing. So that's the fun part though about um, these triangle ones is how quick and easy. And honestly, by the time I were to like lay my die <laughs> down on here, and get it situated, I probably could have just snipped so you guys can see. You also notice I like to leave a little bit of a white edge along there. Can you see that? I don't like to cut too close to my stamping, right? So one more little snip. I used, like to use my big scissors so I can get kind of a full cut across there. So then same thing with this one. We'll cut to this angle first and get rid of that big piece of paper. Right, and we're gonna snip right there. <laughs> now, that's funny, you're the opposite, huh, Pam? Now, so you ordered the triangle dies, but not the stamp set. Well, there's still time, you could still get the stamp set. Yeah, I just think it's so, I well, I, I loved the color combination too, I think is why I'm like loving the stamp set so much too, because it's just such a fun, bright, like different color combination. And the trees are so cute, aren't they, in those colors too? Love those colors. Okay, so this one I do have the die for, so we're gonna um, grab our cut and emboss machine and we will cut this guy out. I'll show you, we use the Ornate Frames dies for, so these are a bunch of labels basically that were in last year's holiday catalog. The ornate frames, they were kind of part of a Halloween suite. So you can see, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, actually twelve, because that's the one we're going to use. Twelve different dies. I should flip that over here, right? So I like to do that so I <laughs> know which one I'm going to use. I'm kind of buried down in there though. Okay, so we're going to just lay this right over top of our joy and cheer there and we will cut this little baby out and then we need to do some embossing too i just realized that we will do our embossing on our whisper white piece <clears throat> and just grab that platform right now while i'm thinking about it okay so you can see this is just so quick and easy, pops right out. I love these labels though, they are great. Obviously not just for Halloween projects, but oh, just so many great label dies in there too. So, okay, here we go. It's like, where is my, so we're gonna use this Evergreen Forest, the 3D embossing folder. You can see how pretty that is, right? On our Whisper White piece. So we're gonna layer that, or lay it, I guess, right in there, okay? We'll go that way. I think that's what Stampin' Up! tells us to do is put the seam side in first. Okay. Sorry, that is like wiggling all over the place. Something must be a little bit loose there. If I futz with it right now, that'll be, it'll make everything super wobbly still. So, okay. So there, can you see, isn't that so cool, right? So you can use this side or this side. So this is kind of, I would say the embossed side because it's raised, right? And then this is the deboss that's kind of like pressed in. I can especially see it on that one right there. So you can really use either side, whatever your preference is. Okay. All right, I think we are good with our cut and emboss machine. So let's get this baby out of the way. Okay, quick sip of water. It's that time of year where, right, we get really dry throats very easily. Okay. So here is my, was trying to find my adhesive. Okay, so we are going to put, which side do I like better? We're gonna use this side on the outside of our card, okay? So we're gonna add, and I'm gonna use a bunch of adhesive along, all the way along the edges, especially where it's embossed because that bumpiness tends to make the card not want, or the cardstock not want to stick quite as well. So there we go. We're going to press that down really firmly 
two, okay? Next, we are going to add a strip of, and this is like, a, I would have this little, um, oh, it's this cute little dish, basically, that whenever I cut too much ribbon or have an extra piece or something, I always throw in this little dish. So anyway, this was like a little strip that was in my little dish on my um, craft table, but it, <laughs> it came off of this bolt originally. So this is, um, what are we even calling this? Well, I think it's the Whisper White, the metallic edge, like the silver metallic edge ribbon, because it's Whisper White with that little silver edging on both sides. Beautiful. Again, perfect for holiday projects. So I'm going to just layer this on here and snip off. So, okay, I'm like not a waster of anything. I'm like, oh, maybe I can use that piece. So that'll go back in my little dish. <laughs> my little, it's a beautiful little ceramic dish that a friend of mine got for me years and years ago in Chicago, but it was so, I, I've loved it forever. So anyway, it sits on my craft table, ready for little pieces of ribbon to be thrown into it. And I use, I go through, it's funny, when I'm making a project, I'll look first and see, do I have a little snippet in my little um, dish? And I'll use it if it's in there, right? So I'm not wasting anything. And honestly, it's funny for me because I'm, I don't know that anyone would say I'm super frugal. It's more so, um, not that I think that that's a bad thing either, um, but it's more so like the wasting, like the whole recycling and that sort of thing. I really appreciate um you know, the recycling efforts and trying not to waste things. So, okay, we're gonna add this piece right on there like that, right? Next, we are going to, and this is one of those little pet peeves of mine. Here I am trying to like lift these things up. Um, normally, I would just put two big um, dimensionals on either side of this thing, but then it will sit right on there and it gets really wobbly. So instead, I'm gonna use two, or actually four, of our little mini so that they'll kind of end up going like kind of top and bottom either side of that ribbon. So then they're not like wobbling around. Sorry, that's like one of those like funny little anal things, I guess, <laughs> that I have. Do you guys have anything like that? It's just, I don't know, this little pet peeve kind of thing. Okay, so we're gonna just add that, maybe right about there. And I can already tell it's holding the ribbon down and not making things super wobbly. Okay, so next we are going to flip these babies over. <clears throat> and these I should be able to use full dimensionals on. One there and one there and there and there. Okay, so we're gonna add this one first, our Magenta Madness right embossed with some silver embossing powder i think that's gonna work right there maybe i won't push too hard in case i want to move things over little trick right then we will add that little baby right about there and sometimes i think they're straight and then i'm like oh that's not really very straight and then one more Right there we go. Oh, so cute, right? Now we needed one more. I was like, okay, I need a little something else. So for this project, I pulled out these our, our, our frosted and clear epoxy droplets. And so here I've got, I think this is like from a few packages, right? So these are the frosty guys right here. And then I actually used the clear ones. You can kind of see the difference, can't you? Those are a little bit more frosted there. These are a little bit like more clear, <laughs> right? That's why they're called frosted and clear epoxy droplets. And like I always like to mention, I will give you all of the colors, the dimensions, item codes, all that we used, all of the products that we used um, on these projects will be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So if you need to know, again, um, any of the details on how to make these projects, they will be uploaded there this afternoon, okay? So I'm using my paper snips, I love that. And when that flips over, you can just do that little bit right there, get your paper snip onto the glue dot, and there we go. So isn't that so cute? Thank you, I'm glad you love that card, Miss Pam. You're probably gonna have to get the tree angle stamp set now, I'm thinking, right? Just so cute. and. You have the dies, right? But if you don't, it's just as easy to um, snip those right out with your paper snips too. So, okay, so card number one, there we go. All right, got to organize myself for a quick moment here, ladies. Let's scoot some things out of the way. Actually, 
before I move. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do though. Let's put this on the inside. <laughs> you got the little LOL. I love that. Let's put um, this, our sentiment on the inside of our card too, okay? There we go. Christmas is best when we're together. Very, very sweet, right? Okay, so now that card's really done. Okay, so we are going to, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed that card. Me too, me too. I think, um, you know, after you play with, I, and not to kind of put anything against, you know, traditional Christmas colors, but I think, like I said, this is always kind of the time of year when I'm like, okay, I'm ready for something else. Um, so it was fun to still do holiday cards, but maybe with not your traditional holiday color. Sorry, this is really wiggling all over the place. I think I'm just like talking too much and not paying attention, so I apologize. Plus, I'm telling you guys, my um, eyes are a little bit blurry, so... I don't see things as well as I used to, so I think that's part of my problem too, because I don't even realize maybe how bouncy that is. So Okay, all right, I think we're good. Get all my trash out of the way here, okay? One card, okay, so next one, similar um, color palette, if you will, but this time I went with a Bermuda Bay base, and then we had to emboss that silver foil paper there. Isn't that gorgeous? So let me show you guys this one, how we made this one. Similar, right? Like I said, with the color combination, and um, even the layering is a little bit similar too, but oh, I just love this. And I think Lily is home, right? Stormy's saying, hi, Lily. Glad you're here. Okay, this is the one that I cheated and did a little bit already for us on. Hi, Lily. How was the gym? Oh, <laughs> Feeling good. It always feels to get, to get the workout in, right? Okay, so let me see. I did already stamp and cut, so there's that little tree right there. I did do the embossing exactly the same way on white cardstock with your Versamark ink and your silver embossing powder and the heat tool. So that one's gonna go there. And then this one I did in um, the Magenta Madness. So those little trees are done. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to cut out the bases of the trees um, using soft suede ink for those pieces, right? And then we'll do our embossing. And we have to stamp our little greetings stamp. So let's do that. We will stamp our little greetings stamp. Actually, I think I'm gonna use that for my other. We're gonna do greetings right on there. Oh, I love that font, you guys. Sucker for a good font, right? And then we need our um, soft suede ink. Let's do this. And we're gonna do three little tree bases. So nice, easy, right? Tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up, tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. Boom, done, okay? All right, so we'll scoot those out of the way. All right, so we can do our, let's do our die cutting. Oh, you know what else? Actually, we have more on the inside too. I always forget this. Oh, hold on, hold on, I forgot. We need to tell you about um, sizes, like measurements of things, right? Let's do that. Again, our traditional card base, Bermuda Bay along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then the layers on the outside here, we have, um, let's see, let me make sure. Is that gonna be, that almost looked like it wasn't gonna work, but it is. <laughs> I was second guessing myself. So the Whisper White is three and three quarters by five inches. And then the Silver Foil is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. That maybe needs to be moved up just a teeny bit. I probably moved that around. Okay, but again, I'll have those dimensions on my blog too. So those two are gonna go right there. And then on the inside, we did this happy wishes to you and yours. So we might as well stamp that too after I tell you. This is the very traditional inside of my card, four and four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? Oh, I'm glad you like that card too, Diana. I, there's just something about the color combination. I'm telling you guys, just having so much fun with it. Okay, so we are going to stamp our, we'll do the happy wishes to you and yours, okay, stamp that one right there, ooh, look at that, don't you want to write, I wish, I wish I could write like that, 
So cute, huh? And then we have the little ornaments, the little hanging ornaments. We're gonna stamp these in Magenta Madness, just kind of right underneath there, okay? Alrighty. Hi, bye. <laughs> okay, so let's do our die cutting and our embossing next. Let's see. We'll do the die cutting first since I have that out right now, ready to go. Okay, so we've got our little greetings stamp right here. And we are using, these are the, is it Dino and Friends? Yeah, Hippo, not Hippo, not Dino. Hippo and Friends die. So you can see this is the one that we're going to use. I'll pull this one out. But look at all the labels. This is one of my favorite set of dies. Even if you don't use the Hippo dies, you've got like, what, four there, three there, and another three there. All these great label dies that you can use. So that's the smallest of that shape. We're going to just put that baby right on there. Okay. And it fits perfectly around the little greetings stamp. Okay, oops, that did not work very well at all, did it? Okay, look at that going again. There we go, okay. Be really careful, <laughs> even with the magnetic plate. Well, when you hit it that hard, of course it's gonna move, right? Okay, <clears throat> so we've got this one. Okay, so again, you guys can see how quick and easy that just pops right out. Perfect fit there, huh? Okay, put that back in there. All right, now we are gonna do our embossing. And one thing I will tell you, because I think I ended up with this on kind of, this is like debossed instead of embossed. It's kind of like pressed in instead of popping up. So let's see if I can figure out, because I thought I had it figured out. I thought the logo, if you put the paper in this way, it embossed it. But I think we're gonna flip it the other way. Let's see. So if we have the label on the top instead of you know on the bottom, right? We're gonna put this in upside down though. So instead of seeing the silver foil, we're gonna do it this way. And let's see, because I honestly can't remember. I was like, oh, wait, I kind of did that the wrong way. I like how this looks on this one with kind of the debossed. Can you see how it's kind of pressed in? But let's see, I'm not sure if I, I'm not, oops. You know what, we do not, this is not a 3D one, so we actually need both of these number three plates. So we're gonna use our platform and then one of the three plates and then the embossing folder with our paper and then another number three plate on top. Okay, so let's check this out. And we'll see if I did it the right way or not. Okay, so again, the label, Stampin' Up! is facing up. Oh, I did do it the wrong, okay, so it must be, so can you see as if this was on Whisper White Cardstock? I must have done the upside down before. So if you want, on your silver foil, if you want this raised image to be on this side, you're gonna wanna put your foil paper facing up. So I actually put it facing down, and it did the embossing on the back side, and then it debossed, kind of pushed down into the silver paper. So again, label, Stampin' Up! label with your foil, so you can see it when you run it through, and then it will emboss this piece instead of deboss it. I love how this looks too, so that's another thing to think about. If you want it debossed, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over so that the back side is what gets embossed, okay? All righty, we're gonna scoop that baby out of the way. And, okay, one more quick sip of water. Mm. Okay, so same idea as before in terms of the layering. I love just having that little eighth of an inch of, um, in this case, the Whisper White popping out. And we are gonna, again, use a bunch of adhesive. This is a thicker piece of cardstock and then it's embossed. So we need to make sure we put a good amount of adhesive on our silver foil. And then you can just see a little bit of that Whisper White peeking out around the edge. We're gonna do, what I call kind of a cheater bow. So we're gonna just do a strip of our Magenta Madness ribbon down along the bottom of this piece. Just flip that over and then I like to just add my adhesive, although that's not running, is it? I don't know where it goes. It's the funniest darn thing. Okay, so we've got one there. Flip this down along there, right? So you've got that one and that one. And then we will do this. 
and this and this. I think we're good. Okay, so now we can add this piece to our Bermuda Bay base. I'm gonna put the inside piece on right now because somehow I tend to forget that. I get so excited when I think I'm done with my card. Okay, so we're gonna add this piece right inside there. Okay, love that. Okay, now, okay, we gotta cut. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm back to that again. I got a little bit of adhesive. I wanna try to rub those off because things keep sticking there. All right, so with our paper snips, because we don't have dies for these, but seriously, so easy, right? We're gonna just snip around the edges of these little babies. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep that tab up on the top. I didn't do that before, but that's where we're gonna add our adhesive. What a good idea. I wish I would have thought of that. And I bet I can kind of do both of these. Okay, so we're gonna just snip up there. Snip up there and we'll keep that one. And then same idea. Snip this one, come from the other way, and do that one. Okay, so we've got all of those pieces. Now I want to add them to my, nope. I did this when I was making this card the other day too. I was kind of thinking I needed to flip them over, but I'm just gonna add adhesive right up there. And then that is what's gonna attach to my tree bases, okay? So we've got that little guy. Oh, so much easier. I wish I would have thought of that the other day to have a little tab up at the top. <laughs> Ooh, funny how these things occur to you. So crazy. Okay, so we'll just add that guy right there. And then one more. Pop him. This is so cute too. It doesn't even look like a tree when you look at it, right? Um, you know, on here, it doesn't even look like a tree, but then when you cut it with those tree angles, right? It just magically becomes a tree. All right, so now we are gonna add some dimensionals behind those guys and also onto our sentiment here. Where are my dimensionals? I'm looking all over. Here they are, okay. And what I also like to do is put a dimensional kind of right over where the tree base is onto the tree so that it holds it together. Another little trick, right? So we'll do that one with that one there too and that one. And then that one, and I'm gonna put a little baby one right there, okay? And then two more dimensionals right there and there. Okay, so I think we got enough dimensionals to kind of press those on to make sure they stay well. All right, so we are gonna start with our embossed, our silver embossed piece. Oh, look at all that little garbage there. Let's just scoot that out of the way. Why, oh, <laughs> those things that like always stick everywhere, right? The backs of the dimensionals. Okay, so we're gonna put that little baby right there. Then we can add this little cutie in our magenta madness. Uh, you know what? I think I want that over a little bit further. Kind of liked it so that it wasn't totally symmetrical. Um, let's see, maybe if we put him down a little bit like that, there we go, okay. And then actually one more tree. We will add our little Bermuda Bay. Okay, and then we will add our sentiment. Greetings. And we're gonna put him maybe right about there. Okay, now last step is to tie our bow. So around that strip, we're gonna just run, oops. That kind of fell out of there. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like these cards. I had so much fun. Like I, I think I've said it five times now, right? It's that non-traditional color combination. So I saw it on Pinterest. Actually, I was kind of flipping through. Um, I do that a lot, honestly, because I'm just, you know, I'm not as creative as a lot of people are, um, but I can see kind of cute things online. And so I saw another card um, made with this stamp set in these colors, and I was like, oh, I love that. So I kind of used her color combo idea as a jumping off point to get my creative juices flowing, and then I came up with these two cards. So, okay, 
We're going to just snip that one, and it's going to be in fuzzy. There we go. And that one right there. Oops. And there we have it, ladies. So again, greetings. Happy wishes to you and yours on the inside. So thank you, Teresa. I'm glad you enjoyed that card as well. So here we go, ladies. We've got those two cards, and then we've got these two cards. And I'll give you the quick reminder right about putting in an online order and using the host code for this month the ayt2pz29 order online anytime this month using that host code actually if you do it by next wednesday you'll get one of each of these projects that i just demonstrated to you with at least a 30 dollars online order if you bump your order up to 50 dollars you get either the free embellishment for december which is the blue adhesive back gems or the demo design dream team pdf tutorial so lots of good stuff as my thank you for ordering through me, which I truly, truly appreciate. And I hope you guys enjoyed these projects as much as I did showing you them today. So hopefully you have a great Friday and a great weekend, and we will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much.